Neither Danger Ball on PlayStation Worlds or Hollow Ball gave us the Arkanoid-like satisfaction of breaking bricks in VR. Both were closer to versions of Virtual Reality Pong than anything else, which is kind of a shame, honestly. The foundation was there already. Adding a hundred or so levels of random block patterns should have been a no-brainer. But here we are, and Proton Pulse is our only option for that style of game in PlayStation VR. And for $10, Proton Pulse actually gives off a pretty good first impression with upbeat music and colorful graphics. But more importantly, it has the ability to switch between move controls or head tracking as your primary form of control. You can even switch back and forth on the fly, and sometimes that'll be important. Whereas the VR headset makes for a much more convenient way to play, getting a wide range of motion from subtle movements, the move controllers turn your flat paddle into two fully 3D rackets, giving you far more precision over the speed and direction of your shot. So control-wise, everything here is spot on. The first set of levels actually primes Proton Pulse for success, with simple but addictive gameplay. But levels start going by one by one, and it all just seems a bit too easy. Not to mention that the look of each level is eerily similar to the one before it. You'll start craving diversity long before the game delivers any. And once any actual challenge sets in, it'll become all too obvious that the precision you get from the move controllers is no longer an option, it's now mandatory. Hitting warp blocks and avoiding polarized ones requires a bit more skill. So this is when Proton Pulse gets good, right? Because of the increased difficulty? No, unfortunately not. The new obstacles are just an annoyance, removing any fun from the game that you might have already been having. And this is roughly also the same time when the neon flashing backgrounds and walls become distracting and exhausting. I'm a huge fan of brick-breaking games. From Arkanoid to Shatter, there's a legacy of amazing 2D options. Proton Pulse starts off on the right foot, but then tragically heads down the wrong path. And once you've seen the game over screen for the very first time, I'm going to bet that you've already enjoyed Proton Pulse as much as you're ever going to.